Hello, this is The Handshake here on New Vision TV. I'm Lynn Komnisha, and with me today is Edna Ruth Moviru. Edna, welcome to the show. Thank you, Lynn. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Have you been well? Yes, I've been well. I took a short break. Whoa, yes. great. No, so I'm back. Oh, um, that's the glow I see. <laughs> Thank wow, you. Wow, it's good to have you back. Thank you. Now, while you were away, or perhaps you were you were back, uh, mm. you are a destroyed fake imports. Mm. Now, the imports include cigarettes, cosmetics, and yes. soap worth mm. 2.88 billion shillings. Mm. Now, according to the Na Ugandan National Bureau of Standards, uh, they're saying there's rapid growth in importation of substandard products. What causes yes. this? Um, well, the substandard products always have, they have to find a way on the market. Absolutely, yeah. yes. So the reason why there's a growth is because, uh, one, we have some borders that are still porous. Mm -hmm. UNBS has said over a number of years that they do not have, um, U the UNBS and the other enforcement agencies, which yeah. would be the police and URA, mm -hmm. that there are some shortages of staff at those at places. The at the borders. Yes, at the oh. borders. And then when you look at cigarettes, uh, the it's one of the most smuggled goods. Yeah, actually onto I think it our was market. super much. Something. Yes, it's one of the most smuggled goods. So there are a number of factors that make it possible mm. for these things to find their way on our market. But 2.88 billion shillings, really, uh, that's, mm. a, that's a lot of money mm. uh, that we need right now. Yes. Uh, what does this mean for us as an economy? What is it? What effects does it have? Um, if it's being smuggled in, it means, and this is what they have managed to catch as it's getting into yes. our country. So it means that there are taxes that are not being remitted mm -hmm. on these smuggled goods, sure. which is bad for us. We sure. need all the taxes we can get. We have, well, we need to mobilize a lot of revenue. Mm -hmm. So what it means is that we need to do more to catch these culprits who are to who are bringing in the goods and to make sure that everyone is paying their dues i hope they are fined before the goods are destroyed i really hope yes, so like you should put measures in place that discourage uh, uh, what measures smuggling. for example um one is to staff the borders as the, yeah, the points yeah. as much as possible mm. um there are, there are routes that people talk about that are they just cross through from kenya into uganda from uganda into drc they look they are like footpaths but if somebody crosses over so many times they can bring in quite a Absolutely. lot yes uh so if we can staff and make sure that we close off all these porous points mm -hmm. and then um to keep doing what they've done now so that it's less profitable yes. for people to you know you bring in these goods then they are destroyed mm. if they do it enough times mm -hmm. they should be able to discourage you i i mean they've been doing it for yeah. a while mm. we have not seen it go down that mm. much it's uh, because the profits are high i mean ah. if the profits are high so you would need yes. to be more stringent in order to discourage it wow. if i can bring in such a huge volume of cigarettes mm -hmm. I will make a huge profit. I haven't paid any taxes on them. So, and then the people are always getting smarter. <laughs> of course, we are. Yes. So <laughs> as as uh, as they do all these things right. and ban them so that they don't get onto the market, right. even the smugglers are getting smarter. So I think we just need to uh, open up the channels. Mm -hmm. If people know that these are they are like get. Uh, numbers people can call to report strange activity yes, in different yes. places and a few other things but you it's know w with the economy currently uh i wouldn't mind in jaudo you know <laughs> if, I, if i saw a friend you know smuggling something and i'm like yo uh, that's not, that's not good i uh, know i'll give you something mm. i mean that happens a lot if yes, it does. and I'm like, oh, you're giving me oh. cool. I cool. mean, <laughs> you can pay people to close their yes. eyes and look away, but if everyone can understand that reporting is for the greater good, mm. I think we should be. There must be a few good people that will take up the off will not take up the offer yeah. and then report. Uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> Perhaps mm. I, I really don't know, mm. uh, but well, that's that's what's happening. Uh, but be on the lookout. Uh, there are certain cosmetics, uh, soaps, and cigarettes that are in the market that are not supposed to be because they're dangerous for your health. Mm. So be on the lookout and make sure you take uh, certified and of course UNBS certified things that are 
very healthy for you. Uh, otherwise, the smuggled ones are always, always not good. Thank you so much, Edna. Thank you, Lynn.